Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to All Under the Squirrel Tree. How's everybody doing? Um, today is Sunday. So that means it's Stampin' Sunday, hosted by hashtag Stampin' Sunday, hosted by Thelma Hall and Paula from Crafting by the Pond. I think Opal's going to try and pop up. Um, so go check out these ladies and all of the uh, other wonderful people who join in on this uh, open collab. It's a lot of fun. Uh, very inspiring. Um, I have a confusion. Okay. Let me settle in here. Oops, sorry. Okay. Earlier in the week, I got to go to Dollarama. And I picked up these absolutely adorable little um, stamps, layering stamps. And let's see, yeah, this is the package for the one. I should have taken it out. It was only $2. And with this one, you can actually make multiple, you know, mix, mix and match the pieces and have several different owls, a little branch for them to sit on. It's got fairly clear instructions. You'd think I would have been had less trouble doing it, but this is one of the possibilities of what it could look like. Um, mine, I think, is a little bit different. I'm not sure, I can't remember, but it's really, really cute. And it's a nice, oh, we'll get down. Thank you. It's actually a really nice quality stamp for, for two bucks. I was really pleased. And it came with, um, three little ink pads which was just amazing because that's one thing that I am very very short on is ink pads uh, plan to change that very soon that's my number one thing on my Christmas wish list um, this year is some ink pads and stamping stuff anyway I used that little owl stamp and made this I'm not sure what it's called. It's not an insert, but an, an onsert. <laughs> um, to put on a birthday card, you know, I'll, I'll make up the card and then attach this probably with a little different piece of paper underneath to frame this. You know, just make it cute. It says, I wonder, uh, it's somebody's birthday. I wonder who. Now, when I make the card, I will put the sentiment on the inside of the card, but I wrote it on the back of this just so I wouldn't forget just kidding of course it's yours it's just that people always expect me to talk like that um, happy birthday i hope all of your wishes come true so i i was actually really pleased with the way this um stamp layered up and and turned out really really cute so and i did this on um, watercolor paper also from dollarama the other things that i did aren't stamps but I did use these ink pads and I used these little uh, stencils that I got from Timu really good bargain these were like four dollars three or four dollars for 25 of them um, and I shared I kept a few and then shared the rest so I've only got only had a few to show but I chose these ones and I used the ink pads from the little owl. Well, the owl and the other one. The other one is a bird cage, and it's not here. But um, I used the ink pads from the layered owl stamp, and used the stencils and made this. And again, same thing. This will go on the front of a greeting card, and then this one. And I hi just highlighted them a little bit with my uh, the fine line black sharpie and my gold pen, just to sort of zoosh them up a little bit. And then this one. Now I don't really like this one. Um, I wanted I love this color for the background, and I wanted that, but I couldn't figure out how to. Uh, get the background and not have it overlap with the blue and make it muddy because you see you got a little bit of you know a little bit of it there and it just kind of looks muddy um, 
I'm going to be testing the uh, the longevity of these inks, um, these particular inks. I know that my black one doesn't work that well, but um, just to uh, to see if I can like stamp the image and then put a a, a light watercolor wash on the back of them, because just just to get because I want to do that with this one too. I don't like the such stark whiteness in the background on this I want to sort of you know like the blue sky white snow whatever anyway that's what I did with the ink pads from this rubber stamp and the stamp that I did from the rubber stamps and it was a lot of fun and I'm actually getting pretty excited about getting some more they had other ones as well but these were the only two that I picked up um, and uh, I just stopped saying um I wonder how many of us out there doing YouTube videos constantly say, I gotta stop saying, um, I think I say that pretty much every video now because I keep reminding myself. In any case, I had loads of fun doing that. I am very grateful for the opportunity to show off my stuff and to join in this open collab, hashtag Stampin' Sunday, um, with Thelma Hall and Paula. And uh, I will see you again very soon under the squirrel tree. Bye. Have a wonderful day.